Good evening and welcome to evening prayer for Thursday in the week of the sixth Sunday after Pentecost, proper eight. Thank you for joining us in worship. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love they will know. We are Christians by our love We will walk with each other We will walk hand in hand We will walk with each other We will walk hand in hand And together we'll spread the news That God is in our land They will know we are Christians by our love And save each man's pride They will know we are Christians By our love, by our love They will know we are Christians By our love His one and only Son And all praise to the Spirit Who makes us all as one And they'll know we are Christians By our love, by our love They will know we are Christians By our love Oh, they will know we are Christians By our love set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Blessed be the Lord our God, 
by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer your worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship be a witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, Almighty God, Lord, that to your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Psalms appointed for this evening are Psalms 131, 132, and 133. I'm sorry, it's actually 134 and 135. The Psalms for this evening are Psalms 134 and 135. Psalm 134. Behold, now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who makes heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Psalm 135 Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. You who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises to his name, for it is lovely. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. The Lord does whatever pleases him, in heaven and on earth, in seas and all the deeps. He brings up rain clouds from the ends of the earth. He sends out the lightning with the rain and brings the winds out of his storehouse. It was he who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, the firstborn of man and beast. He sent signs and wonders into the midst of you, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. He overthrew many nations and put mighty kings to death. Sihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He gave their land to be an inheritance an inheritance for Israel, his people. O Lord, your name is everlasting. Your renown, O Lord, endures from age to age. For the Lord gives his people justice and shows compassion to his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, 
the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes have they, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Neither is there any breath in their mouth. Those who make them are like them, and so are all who put their trust in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, Lord, O house of Levi. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless be the Lord out of Zion, who dwells in Jerusalem. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the first book of Samuel, chapter 13, verses 5 to 18. That's uh, 1 Samuel 13, 5 to 18. The Philistines mustered to fight with Israel 30,000 chariots and 6,000 horsemen and troops like the sand on the seashore in multitude. They came up and encamped at Mishmash to the east of Beth Haven. When the Israelites saw that they were in distress, for the troops were hard-pressed, the people hid themselves in caves and holes and in rocks and in tombs and in cisterns. Some Hebrews crossed the Jordan to the land of Gad and Gilead. Saul was still at Gilgal. And all the people followed him trembling. He waited seven days. The time appointed by Samuel, but Samuel did not come to Gilgal, and the people began to slip away from Saul. So Saul said, Bring the burnt offering here to me, and the offerings of well-being. For, and he offered the burnt offering. As soon as he had finished offering the burnt offering, Samuel arrived, and Saul went out to meet him and salute him. Samuel said, what have you done? Saul replied. When I saw that the people were slipping away from me and that you did not come within the days appointed and that the Philistines were mustering at Mishmash, I said, now the Philistines will come down upon me at Gilgal and I have not entreated the favor of the Lord. So I forced myself and offered the burnt offerings. Samuel said to Saul, you have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord your God, which he commanded you. The Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever. But now your kingdom will not continue. The Lord has sought out a man after his own heart. And the Lord has appointed to be ruler over his people because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. And Samuel left and went on his way from Gilgal. The rest of the people followed Saul to join the army. They went up from Gilgal towards Gibeah of Benjamin. Saul counted the people who were present with him, about 600 men. Saul, his son Jonathan, and the people who were present, and they stayed in Geba of Benjamin. But the Philistines encamped at Mishmash, and raiders came out of the camp of the Philistines in three companies. One company turned toward Ophrah, to the land of Shual, and another company turned towards Bethoron, and another company turned towards the mountain that looks down upon the valley of Zeboim, towards the wilderness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the word of the Lord, written in the letter of Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 1 to 11. There is therefore now no commandment for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and to deal with sin. He he condemns sin in the flesh so that the just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh but according to the spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For this reason, the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, you are in the Spirit, since the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit of life, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give you life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now we let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, Renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Grant, Lord, that we may be faithful to you without turning aside, worship you without growing weary, serve you without failing, diligently seek you, happily find you and forever possess you, the one and only God, blessed forever and ever. Amen. Father, we bring our children to you for your blessing. Help us to be sensitive to their needs. Give us wisdom in our care of them, that they may grow up rooted in love, steadfast in faith, strong and courageous in life. Guide us and all who have the care of children. May we never hinder, but help and encourage them towards independence and maturity and to a living faith in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh Lord, support us all the day long of this troublous life until the shades lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed. The fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, Lord, in mercy, grant us safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant to your servants, O God, to be set on fire with your love, to be strengthened by your power, to be illuminated by your spirit, to be filled with your grace, and to move on with your help, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Light no darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Merciful God, to you we commend ourselves and all those who need your help and correction. Where there is hatred, give love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is sadness, joy. Where there is darkness, light. Grant that we may not seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, 
For it is in giving we receive, in pardoning we are pardoned, and it is in dying we are born into eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or conceive, by the power which is at work among us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all ages. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.